Yes, good morning everyone. Yeah. Now I fi finally I try to optimize my condition to record our lecture. So now I can visualize my face and then maybe you guys are suffer from a lot to hearing some sound from YouTube. So I also fixed the problem. So from this week, yeah, I can share very excellent lecture compared to the last version. So I'm really sorry about the last few weeks of some, some poor lecture yeah, without my face or without some proper sound from YouTube. So from this week, yeah, I can use some upgraded version which was provided by our university so I can um, apply this program to deliver my ideas. Okay, today's week is about uh, four, uh, chapter 4 about some treatment assay. So I'm going to share some four different YouTube. One is root canal therapy, second one is core buildup, third one is crown, and fourth one is provisional crown. Provisional means temporary. So what's the meaning of the root canal therapy? So basically, let's imagine if you have some uh, dental caries, the first way to treat the dental caries is to remove, remove dental caries using some drill. But uh, when the dental caries is so severe, and then this caries can affect the pulp tissue, which is some soft tissue inside of your tooth, uh, the optimal treatment method is to root canal treatment, root canal therapy. So root means the end point of your tooth, and the canal is some inside of that root. Even though they say therapy means that actually this is not therapy, just remove all the nerve or all the soft tissue inside the root canal. So, so the beauty of the root canal therapy means that even though the therapy, this is not real therapy. They just, we just remove all kind of tissue which can feel pain from the dental caries. So this is a this is the definition of the root canal therapy. Second one is the core buildup. So core buildup means that when you remove some your tooth enamel or dentin, which is a component of your tooth, you have empty space, which means that uh, you need some spacer to fill out that removed part. So for that, you need to build up something. So the core buildup means that the core is core can be replaced in the part when you, when you remove during the dental caries removal treatment. So this is called core buildup. Maybe if you watch this YouTube, you can easily know the concept. The crown means that after um, removing the dental caries and then make some crown and make some core uh, buildup using some other dental materials and then at the final outer appearance is covered by the gold crown or meta crown, which can exactly mimic some anatomical up and down structure of your tooth surface. So this is a gold crown. Yeah. So you can imagine the, the crown on your top. Yeah. And the provisional crown means that when you say the crown, they have two types. One is uh, first one is provisional, temporary crown which can apply just one week or up to one month. Second one is that final crown. Final crown means that you can use it permanently. So when you normally say crown, which means just permanent crown, but in especially uh, you can uh, apply this provisional crown for the patient to adjust some biting uh, behavior using your anatomical structure. So let's watch it the YouTube one by one. Core buildup or post buildup describes an artificially created. Yeah, sorry, this is some more core buildup. My core buildup. Yes, maybe I can copy and paste different. We use a core buildup to replace the missing portion of a. Yeah, sorry. Let's 
See from this video about the root canal therapy. Tooth core. If a tooth has been destroyed by a deep cavity so that there is nothing left. As you can see, this red dot is ca uh, dental carriers. And sometimes they are destroyed when you buy something. Of the tooth's original crown, then it won't be possible to fit that tooth with an artificial crown because the crown won't have any hold. However, in cases where the roots. So when you see that, this kind of file can remove all of the uh, soft tissue part inside of root. So this is the crown portion, we can say that. This is a root portion. So previously you observed many, this, uh, this kind of, as you know, red one is artery, blue one is uh, vessel, and then the white one is nerve. You can say like that. So this kind of inside of the tooth, even the outer surface is very strong, but inside you can see many artery or nerve. But when certain your dental carriers affect this pulp tissue, you start to feel some pain because this bacteria can affect the nerve tissue, nerve inside your pulp. This is called pulp. So the only way to treat this one is to remove all kind of this pulp tissue inside of your root canal. So we use this kind of um, some file. Sorry. This is not the one. Core buildup or post buildup describes an artificially created tooth core. If a tooth has been destroyed by a deep cavity so that there is nothing left of the tooth's original crown, then it won't be possible to fit that tooth with an artificial crown because the crown won't have any hold. However, canal. in cases where the roots are still healthy, then a good root canal treatment and the buildup of the tooth core can create... So this is a basic two step. One is remove the pulp using the file and then later this pink one, some dental material called gutta pacha is filled instead of your pulp tissue, okay, to fill this uh, empty cavity and then... Retention, retention for a crown. In dentistry, a dental crown supported by an artificial buildup is called a post crown. In this video, you see a... So can you see it? So actually, we cannot cover, we cannot make the crown in here because there is no supporting part from the architecture point of view. So we have to put this kind of hole, make the hole and then put some kind of post, which is called post. An artificial buildup. Upper uh, under this under this post, we can make this kind of core, some kind of hard material, yeah, which has similar mechanical property compared to your enamel, your tooth. And then after making this uh, core and post, and then after did that, outer part will be restore, restored from the dental crown. Is called a post crown. Yeah. Okay. This is the crown. So now you know the concept. What is the root canal therapy? And then what is the post? What is the core? So what is the crown? So this kind of from the root canal therapy to the crown will be applied maybe over one or two weeks for the patient when the patient have very severe dental carriers. Okay, uh, let's jump up to more about the uh, core buildup. Severely broken down tooth prior to placing a crown. The material we use most commonly is a composite resin that is bonded to the tooth. The first step is making sure the tooth is free of decay. We so you have huge cavity, so you cannot apply the crown on this structure because they are too vulnerable to break down. So we have to fill this part using very strong dental materials, which we normally use it uh, composite resin. We use a composite resin to fill this cavity. Prepare the tooth for the buildup by applying a mild solution, and then we carefully place the resin. This blue thing to etch the surface to have more roughness to bond the composite resin well on this tooth. 
material. This is Some core resin, okay? materials harden on their own, while others are cured with yeah, a This composite resin can be cured. Cured means can be set, can be, can be a hard material from the soft material by light curing. Light, when the light is ongoing, this polymer, they start to polymerize and then they, they come to be hard material. Without this light curing, this uh, composite resin is just viscosity material. They can flow, they can change their morphology. High intensity light. Lastly, we shape the core material to accept the crown. Okay, and then after this, previously we can see that uh, when you make this kind of, sorry, things, and then we use our high speed, uh, some drill to make this kind of structure. And then after that, we apply the more hard dental crown upper this core, like this. Okay, this is the way how we do. It's the remaining tooth structure provides better stability for the crown and may reduce sensitivity by providing insulation for the sensitive inner pulp layer of the tooth. A core buildup is a necessary and important step for teeth that have been damaged due to decay or fractures. Building up a tooth prior to building up crown to accept the crown. Building okay, so when you imagine the crown, so when they say the stability, so because of this uh, inside the core structure, when the, this dental crown is applied, and then when they are forced like shake it or from the upper, they can resist. So when you think about the stability, it means that the resistance from the uh, left and right movement. Let's imagine without this crown, when this has some very flat structure, the crown can be easily left and go, left and right, they can move. But because of this some uh, rock and roll structure, the, this crown can maintain their space and maintain their stability. Okay. And then let's see more detail about the crown. Starbucks coffee가 집으로 찾아갑니다. 매일 아침 집에서 즐기는 풍미 가득하고 맛있는 스타벅스 커피를 상상해 This presentation is on how I prep single unit posterior crowns in my office. Uh, there's really just three burrs that I use for this process, a, a fat diamond burr, a regular shaped diamond burr, and then a finish. When we make the crown, a posterior crown preparation, I will show you later. And yeah, we need this kind of very various bar and drill. So they have different shape, the different component, but each one has their own role. You will learn soon, hopefully next year. Finish it off with a carbide finishing burr. I will just reduce the occlusal grooves with using that fat diamond burr, then go on to remove the buccal and lingual cusps. So this is the way, let's say you have this kind of uh, intact uh, tooth, but some parts are damaged, so you have to restore by the crown. So original definition of the crown is to cover all of the area, up, inside, outside, uh, this major part or distal part, all parts should be covered by certain material, which is called crown. For that, even though you have some intact part, intact enamel, but you have to make perfect structure to apply this dental crown. So that is why, even though their enamel is intact, we have to uh, cut certain parts to be filled with the dental crown. After that, I'll move on and prep the buckle, not all the way down to the margin, just making sure that I'm getting enough bulk of the tooth removed, or a bulk of the enamel. And then I'll prep the lingual, and then I'll prep the interproximal. And when I prep the interproximal, I'll switch over and use a regular shaped diamond burr. As I'm going, across buccal lingual buccal lingual going down the interproximal i'm going to try to leave a small sliver piece of enamel between the burr and the adjacent tooth that'll help ensure that we don't scuff or if we do scuff the adjacent tooth it'll be uh, very minimal after i've got that basic
prep design. Okay, this is a perfect design for apply the crown. So they, they have some support area, and then this gap is filled by the your material composing of the metal crown. And then this can be uh, can be uh, some core material or your intact enamel, intact dentin, most of them, as most of the intact enamel. Finish. Uh, it looks kind of squarish looking from the occlusal. So now it's time to round the line angles, again using just a regular shaped diamond burr. This helped us. So ongoing, ongoing, present. you can make this kind of structure. But when we're done, we find to our impression technique. Prepped first molar. Uh, there's so you can see, compared to the uh, uh, next tooth, you can see how much you remove your enamel to make the crown portion. So this kind of a gap will be fit, filled with your dental crown plus bonding material. Bonding is to attach your dental crown to your enamel or to your core material. Uniform thickness as you go from the top and that's what it looks like. In our office at this point, lower. So let's see the okay, clinical case. Okay, so here's case. a clinical case. Patient comes in, lower first molar. You can see it's a large Breakdown, composite right? filling with recurrent decay and part of that filling has broken away. Uh, we've removed the old uh, composite restoration, removed the decay, and that's what it looks like. In our office at this point, we will always stop and take a photograph. It's just good record keeping and will help uh, so yeah. from this part, you can think about, you can fill some other material in here or you remove this whole part and then you can um, maybe apply some core material and then you can make some crown. So you have many options when you deal with this kind of issue. But in here, we focus on the dental crown treatment. Insurance narrative when trying to collect for the, on the patient's insurance benefits. Anyhow, moving along clinically, we'll then place a disposable matrix band around that tooth and just use composite as our buildup material. The tooth is then prepped just the way that I just explained, and then the, um, the intracellular paste is put in there uh, along with a copper cap. The patient bites down on that cap for two minutes. Uh, afterwards, we rinse it off, and as you can see in that photograph, we have a very nice prep. You can see yeah. that. Previously, you saw some maturity field. Yeah, after this kind of, uh, how can I say, some wall, and then you feel some material and light cure. So this is, some, this is called the core. After making a core buildup, and then you made this kind of uh, certain shape to apply the metal, uh, uh, dental crown. Okay, and then you see how the reduction occur during your drilling process. So this is the basic process, how you deal with some dental carriers and then apply dental crown. And then this kind of, uh, in, this kind of morphology can be copied by some impression material and then the, the other professional people, they make some dental crown outside of the dental clinic and then the laboratory person give us the dental crown and then we can uh, apply dental crown after applying the bone, bone material. And then let's see the concept of the provisional crown. Sometimes a yeah, provisional, provisional crown can be used for the patient. 모두 자식은 그렇다 치고 수술에는 어떻게 하기로 했냐? So you think about why we need provisional crown. So as I said before, after making that kind of preparation for applying the dental crown, we have to copy the morphology and then we have to send them laboratory. But normally it will take one week to get the uh, permanent, permanent dental crown from the laboratory. So for the one week, the patient should bite and should eat something. So for that purpose, we have to make the provisional crown, which means temporary crown, at a, yeah, at a instead of uh, permanent crown and then but in the chair side chair side means then next to the patient we have to make it in a very quick time so first yeah
mix it. This is a copy rubber material. And the first you and your intact structure can be copied by this rubber material. And then you can after setting of this rubber material, you can cut the, another part just remain your part of interest. Yeah, try it. it, it fit very well. After checking that one. So only part you have to make the temporary crown from here. So for other parts, they should have extra. This is some temporary crown material. You can mix it. And then fill apply your temporary material in your prepar preparation of the crown. This enamel is already prepared using the drill. So they have empty space from the top and then from the left and right. And then after applying this uh, some temporary crown material and then after that you, you apply this rubber things which has normal anatomical structure before the enamel reduction you can copy exactly how the normal structure of your uh, your tooth yeah. fill this one then apply to the exact spot okay. and push it then you can see exactly the same, same structure previous one and then you pull out this thing and then remove other parts to have more clear things. And then this is the final outcome of your temporary crown. So the beauty of a temporary crown is to make it very fast, you have to make it very fast, but for a uh, proper some how can I say accuracy with proper accuracy. Okay. Okay, this is some concept of a temporary crown. So maybe when you look, when you understand these four different terms in terms of the clinician, and then there is no problem to understand the other dialogue. Okay, I'm gonna invite some our Jesse to come here. Yeah, Jesse, come here. Can uh, okay, you come here? Okay, come here. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna be a dentist and you are gonna be a patient. Okay. Can you? Yeah. Okay. Say hello, Jesse. Hi, hi everyone. Yeah, this is the first time to see your face. Yeah, but, but people are asking, you look very uh, Asian people. <laughs> so, but how did you, how were you born in South Africa? Did you tell about your Small things. Yeah. South Africa? Yeah. Which place were you born? <laughs> okay, yeah. just, yeah, please. Yeah, my father was a soldier, so I was born in South Africa, and now I am in South Korea. Nice to meet you guys. Okay. So, yeah, fortunate, unfortunately, unfortunately, yeah, she cannot move to London. Because as you know, London is more severe than Korea, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So she, I thought that she is very happy to stay in Korea instead of London. Right. Right? Yeah. Okay. So, yeah, I'm going to dentist and you are going to be a patient. So, hi, Jesse. I heard you have, so, you have a toothache. Can you tell me more about your symptoms? Uh, my teeth have been aching when I bite them for the past two days. Okay, I'm going to do some tests. Uh, grade your pain intensity from 0 to 10 when I tap your teeth. Small numbers mean less pain, higher number represent more pain. I think it's 7. After tapping an ice and the ice test, the lowest to right premolar seems to have pain. Let's take a periapical x-ray and see what's going on. According to the x-ray we just took, uh, there is a secondary decay in that tooth. It seems that the cavity has depended, uh, deepened and proceeded close to the nerve. Beside that tooth, there is also a cavity on your front tooth. Oh, what should I do? Will I lose my tooth? 
In my opinion, it is likely that you can save your tooth if you receive root canal treatment. There is no abscess at the end of the root, and it seems to be an early stage of a propitis. And just a simple filling is required for the front cavity. Is that all? After completing root canal treatment, I will remove the old resin filling. You will likely need a core buildup in order to reinforce the tooth structure. As a last step, you will need a crown to protect your tooth from being broken by the force biting. Okay, and uh, you guys uh, will not know about uh, this uh, premolar. Premolar is that molar is big tooth, premolar is small, small tooth. And small tooth and big tooth are different from your front tooth. So in, as a mammalian animal, maybe you, we have total four different uh, tooth. One is front tooth. And canine, canine is longest, some sharp tooth, and then small tooth and big tooth. So small tooth called premolar. And then periapical means that the, at, uh, the end side of the end point of the uh, root, which means the very bottom part of the root. And the secondary decay is that first decay is original tooth decay. Secondary means that after you we fill, we remove the to decay and they fill with other material and then again the decay comes up from the your filled material which is called secondary decay so we secondary means that second time the decay comes up second timely this is called secondary decay okay so any question jesse so i have at the same test i have two decay is that correct that you said it, I have secondary decay. Ah, actually, when we say secondary decay means that uh, not this time. Previously, you have tooth decay, so I remove it, and then I fill some material. Mm -hmm. And then after more well, five or six years later, you got another decay, but in the same spot. Oh my god. Oh, this is called secondary decay. Okay. okay. And then purpitis is some uh, pulp inflammation. As you know, pulp is some soft tissue inside of your tooth. So when the tooth decay is ongoing to affect your pulp, which is called pulpitis. And the abscess means some kind of, some abscess means some pus, some bad things, inflammation, some liquid inflammation, which is called abscess. Okay. Okay, let's go on, Jesse. Yeah, you can be a patient. Can you fix the decayed area without root canal treatment? Uh, Jesse, I wish I could fix your tooth without it. Unfortunately, the cavity in the bicuspid has spread to the nerve. The damaged and infected tissue, including the nerve inside the tooth, needs to be removed to save the tooth. Oh, it sounds painful. Yeah, a little bit. But don't worry, I will numb your tooth first. Once your tooth is numb, it won't be painful during the procedure. You might have pain at the local anesthesia where it's off. You will be given painkillers just in case. Okay. How long does it take to finish root canal treatment? Uh, bicuspid normally has a single root. A root can treatment with a single root to can be finished during one visit. Root, so one root can treatment is done. The tooth needs a crown due to risk of a fracture. Should we start? Sure. Okay, let me apply topical anesthesia before giving you an injection. It will help to decrease the pain. And you are doing great. It is almost done. And please rinse one more time. We will wait a couple of minutes until your tooth is totally numb. Okay, Jesse, you are all set. Uh, it will take about two or three hours until the anesthesia fully wears off. Try not to eat anything while your tooth is numb. Please take painkillers if you are in pain and the root canal treated tooth is very weak because there is no nerve and no heart tissue so it is best not to eat anything hard or chewy on the right side okay thank you okay so, so what is the meaning of the bicuspid means that actually this bicuspid is some longest tooth on your whole tooth numbers so which, which is called canine as well 
So when you write down bicuspid, the meaning in the dictionary, you can see the meaning of the bicuspid. And the bicuspid has some... Bicuspid? Okay, yeah, maybe it's right. And bicuspid has a single root. Single root means a one root. So if you have a small tooth or big tooth, they have two or three root. So because of they have to resist from the out, uh, outer biting force. Okay. And then, uh, as you know, the root canal treatment is one of the very painful treatment which the human beings ever suffer, suffer or ever experience. So people are very worried about the pain uh, root canal treatment. So for decrease the pain, first you have to topical anesthesia apply it, and then your outer surface, your gingiva, your gum is numb, and then. Uh, from through this numb gingiva, your gum, we can inject our rear uh, anesthetic liquid to numb your tooth. Okay, that's the so we need two steps to numb the tooth. First, topical outer surface numb, and then second, from the outer surface numb of the gingiva tissue, we can inject our needle. Yeah, and then uh, maybe. Somebody has the experience to have numb tissue, a numb tooth, which means that you cannot feel some right way. So sometimes you can, when you bite some food in that period, you can bite your tongue instead of your meat. So it can give another drawback. So, so we highly recommend please do not eat anything before the tooth numb is what's gone. Can I at least drink a water? Yeah, you can drink water, but sometimes you can split out your water from your mouth like this. Then can I use a straw? Yeah, you can you can use straw and then yeah, straw is better. Better? Okay. Yeah, yeah. So from two to three hours, yeah, better to use a straw to drink the beverage or other things. And then you can also you believe yourself, you can eat some soup or other things as well. Okay. Hi Jesse, uh, root canal treatment has been successful. So we are going to build up a core on that tooth, okay? a tooth today. Is it going to be a long day? It will take about 90 minutes to complete today's procedure. That is not as bad as I thought. Let's get it done. Yeah, I'm going to trim your tooth to make a crown after making core build up. After trimming, all right, now I'm going to take impression to copy your structure to make the new crown. Do you have any preference for your crown? Um, I prefer a material that looks similar to my tooth color because it is close to my front teeth. If so, I recommend all, all ceramic or porcelain crown because that looks the closest to your natural teeth. I like that. And for today, I will make a temporary crown for you. You will have this temporary crown until your next appointment, maybe next week. So do not chew on this side for the next two weeks to avoid risk of fracture. Okay, thank you. Oh. Actually, Jesse, you have many options, as you know. In uh, instead of the ceramic or porcelain crown, you have metal crown, which has some metal color. And then you can have gold crown, which has some gold color. But most of people, maybe most of the junior people and then young lady, they prefer to have a tooth-like structure, tooth-like color, so they, be, they prefer to have this ceramic or porcelain crown. Mm -hmm. hmm. Any question? No? Okay. Okay, so hi Jesse, good to see you again. Uh, how was the temporary crown? Uh, wasn't it fractured? And is it still in place? Yes, it is. And no fracture, right? No fracture. Okay, I'm gonna give you a new crown today. First, let me name your temporary crown. Please put your head back. Please bite down on this paper. Please grind your teeth side to side. How does it feel? I think it's slightly higher when I chew. It feels a little bit strange. The crown meets first when I bite down. Okay, tap, tap, tap. How does it feel now? It feels much better. Okay, please wait a second. I'm going to polish the crown. Okay, Jesse, now I'm going to cement, which means bone the crown to your tooth. So please open your mouth. Let me put a cotton roll under your tongue. 
keep, keep your mouth open, please bite down hard, stay still for 5 minutes. Let me remove the like, excessive cement. Okay, it's done. Look at it in the mirror. Wow, that looks very good. It looks like my rear tooth. Yes, I do my best. The color is well matched. As you know, this is an old ceramic crown, so please make sure that not to chew anything too hard with it. It can be breakable. And you can brush and floss normally. Please feel free to call us if there's any discomfort. Thank you. So, okay. So maybe this kind of tap, 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 and then other things is called bite adjustment. So if you replace the crown, the original crown, to the patient, the patient can feel some up and down. Up means that uh, your crown is more height, more, more height than com compared to your normal tooth. Actually, the patient or people remember how exactly they choose the, in the, in the exact right spot. So that is why people and patient remember their original location. So our material, our crown can have more than that, over 1 or 0.1 millimeter. Patient feel like you can feel some little bit height. And then we have to remove the height, and this is called a uh, bite, bite adjustment. So this is the uh, optimal and this is the essential way to adjust your crown for the patient. Okay. Then oh. what do you observe from the paper that I chew? Ah, from the paper, we can know uh, where you have the height. Yeah, so because uh, so tooth have some very like um, up and down structure, so from which part you bite first, and then that can be impl implanted mm -hmm. using this kind of ink paper. Okay. This ink can be applied your tooth, and we will the dentist exactly know where the patient have some upper part mm -hmm. from your whole tooth area. Thank you. Mm. Okay. Um, uh, thank you, Jesse, for this uh, your uh, your effort to participate in this lecture. Okay, thank you so much. Thank you. Bye. Bye.